Good evening. Welcome back to my channel once again, The Upper Room. I am Minister Bianca, and I'm coming to you with another Christine Sifu. This one is for my friend, Mercida. She cannot eat conch salad, although I put up the recipe for conch fritters. So I'm going to do this one for her so she can enjoy uh, having some of this good seafood because there's nothing like some good old conch, honey. Let me tell you. But you know, as I was riding along in my car coming from worship, and it matters not who, where you go, just worship. Love in your heart for mankind. That is what God wants. But nevertheless, I was listening to a song, How Great Thou Art. And I began to remember all of the things that we should appreciate in our greatness. You know, sometimes we get into all this negativity, but I thought of an eagle. An eagle uses his wings when a storm comes and soar higher above that storm. That's what we must do. When negativity comes to us, we must take that and turn it into positiveness and soar higher than our obstacles and know that we have someone like the Lord waiting for us. I would like to share a scripture with you. I told you this is going to be a very short video. Once again, I got to put on specs. I'm telling you, I'm getting old. I'm knocking the door at 60. And one day I'm going to do my skin routine that I've been doing from the time I was 14 years of age until this day. And I'm knocking the door at 60. God bless. So let me read this scripture in Isaiah 40. Verse 31, it says, But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not grow faint. Wow, so if we learn just to wait upon the Lord, we are going to mount up on wings like eagles. So now with that said, let's mosey, mm. let's mosey on to the little heavenly kitchen where magic happens. Let's mosey, let's mosey to the heavenly kitchen, to the heavenly, heavenly kitchen, to the heavenly, heavenly kitchen. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a little surprise for you. Now this is mm, not an everyday treat, but if you feel like treating yourself, Come on with me to the heavenly little kitchen. Now, give me a moment while I adjust my stand. Let me get up. Okay. Now, we are in this heavenly little kitchen. Once again, we're in this heavenly little kitchen. Now, see, I got some flour. You can see that. Bring it on up to you. I got some flour. And I like to use Whitley self-rising flour. You better go get your some. Now, today, I got some more conch. But this is going to be what they call cracked conch. Fried conch. Whatever it may be. So let me wash my hands and then we'll get started. in this heavenly little kitchen and bring you some goodness of this heavenly little kitchen. And I'm going to show you how to make some delicious crack conch. Okay, so I'm gonna put some gloves on. Okay, you know, I, I buy boxes and boxes of gloves. And when you take them out the box, they all turn and discombobulate. Somehow they are. So, I get them on eventually. Come on, girl. I put this here 
So what I'm gonna do, I got a tablespoon of natural seasoning. I got some garlic. And I got some. Better go get you some. Publix, two for one. But I'm also going to, you know, put some of this in it. You know, this is my favorite. So what I do, see I got my spoon all nice and clean. And I got flour. With, look with this flour. And I'm gonna turn my stove on and I'm gonna have that heating up. So I take this and I put it into the flour. And then I take garlic. Now you know, garlic is, and I'll leave all the descriptions in the description box. And this is that. Go get you some garlic. And I put some of this in it. And what I do is, I'm just gonna stir it around, 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 and incorporate that into the flour. Okay, so you remember last week, I had the water off the conch. Well, I saved some and I froze these. And so I'm just gonna just discard this water off this conch, just throw it away. And come over here, put my other glove on because I don't want to touch the food um, without gloves, okay? So what I do, I'm gonna open up an egg, a busted egg, however you say it. Then I take a whisk and I just, just stir it up real good because you want it, you want to incorporate it. Incorporate, incorporate, and then beat. I beat it over the sink because I don't like dropping nothing on the floor. I'm kind of drama folk, but I want to introduce this. This is Publix. Buy one, get one free. And it's pineapple with turmeric. Now, it doesn't have the best taste, but it's good for the body, good for the mind, good for the soul. So, this is it. All right, and I've been sipping on this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply pour this egg over this. And what you're going to do is simply, see what I'm doing? Just mix it, mix the egg all in it. Okay, just pour it in there. I only did two pieces, but you can do how many ever you want. And then... After I do that, I do rinse the gloves. I do rinse it off and I get a paper towel. Okay, while that is happening, come on over here to the stove. Once again, garlic olive oil. You buy this and get the big cloves of garlic and you just drop it in. You'll be surprised how to make that food taste. Okay. And then, I take it and I wipe it off. Everything has to be wiped off. You know, bleach is my best friend. Kitchen bleach. I, I just believe in bleach. So I take that and I wipe it off before, you know, putting it back into the cup. Okay, so before we get started, put a piece of paper towel. To Mix it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to turn back over here. Okay? See? So you can see it. Okay? So we're going to simply take a piece of this and we're going to just, you know, with our hands, this you got to use your hands for now. That's why I got no gloves. There's no getting around it. Just going to incorporate it real good. Now if you're making a lot, you know, you can use more seasoning, more flour. You know, do a test piece and make sure it's to you on. And then we're just gonna drop it in the fryer, turn the heat down some, take another piece, drop it in the, you know, like I said, I only did a little bit just to show you. And here we go, here we go. 
Yeah, and that's in that fine. Okay. So that's all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take these gloves off, discard them, and then I'm gonna concentrate. Come on over here to the frying pan. Okay. Oh, wow. So, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to come on over here to the frying pan. And so while that's frying on low, this is some avocado. Put some ice in it. Okay, that's frying up very nice there. Put the ice on the avocado. I'm gonna sit that there. Is this con it doesn't take long for it to fry, so you gotta watch it. It really doesn't take long. And after you beat it, you know it's nice and tender anyway. So this can go off. This is done. See how that fork can go in that real easy? See how that can just stick in there? That's done. Okay, you're gonna shake that off. And I'm gonna set this aside. You know, set that aside. Take and wipe the stove off. I can't stand it when I see stuff on stove it drives me crazy. All right, so we're gonna get back to this goodness. Now, you see this? This is so good. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there, not much, and put a little bit. Of, you know, you can use almond milk, but I'm gonna use a little bit of lactate milk today. But I've used all kind of milk. I've used lactate, I've used almond, I've used, you know, soy, I use a little bit of everything. But the kicker is going to be, I'm gonna put a little bit of this coffee cream, just a little bit. Not much. I would say a teaspoon. So, then you take this, of course. And then I'm going to blend it. So, you know, this bullet is a nice thing to have. Scoop all of it back, and I'm just going to put it in here. Sometimes I got to take it out and shake it. over the sink so if anything spill okay so what I do now is I take me a banana I take me a banana get a clean knife Top it off with some bananas. You know, top it off with that. And then, of course, it wouldn't be nothing if I didn't top it off with some blueberries. So, I'm going to plate it up now. touch it with my hands because I'm going to eat it. So, I'm going to plate it up. And this 
stuff over here. Let's come over here and see that. Now, I would be crazy if I didn't cut a piece of this conk and let you know about it. So I'm gonna cut a piece. Move this out of the way. I am gonna cut a piece. So you can even, it's so good you can tear it. That's how well, I look at that. Look at that, sweetheart. Look at that there. Look at that, honey. Mm -hmm. But look at me eat it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Listen, I hate the moan in your ear like that. But I had to be get the Holy Ghost because my little grandbaby, when she eats something good, she's like, mm, 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 mm. And I said, hey, I see why she want to do that now. And listen, I'm going to wipe this off. And this is an avocado smoothie. Now, I like it thick because sometimes I just like to take the spoon like that. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Get your banana in there. Mm. All I can say. How great the How great. Oh, this thing made me want to give. How they make me want to do the Holy Ghost praise. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that's an avocado smoothie for you. Along with my good crack conk that I am going to enjoy. Soon as I finish. But once again, thank you for joining me in the upper room. I look forward to bringing you more inspiration, inspirational messages. Excuse me, I still have food in my mouth. While I cook in the Heavenly Little Kitchen. And I call it Heavenly Little Kitchen because when I see all the beautiful vegetables and everything that come up from the earth, oh, and I bring it into this kitchen, it is absolutely heavenly. Until you join me the next time, please, please, my subscribers, I love you. Thank you for your support. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And leave me a comment in the comment section if you need prayer. I am a minister. If you just need to talk, just leave me a comment and I promise you I'll get back with you. Until then, as I always say, may the wind be upon your back, the sun upon your face, and may God continue to bring you unbreakable, unspeakable joy and blessing. I look forward to seeing you next time in the upper room. Oh, in the upper room. I look forward to seeing you in the upper room. All right. Thank I want to, you know, I'll be remiss if I don't say I thank my grandmother Blanche Wilson and my mother and all of my aunts that inspired me to cook and left me with a legacy of recipes to share with you guys. I know that they are in heaven rejoicing. See you next time in the upper room.